Hello everybody, welcome back. More everyday's everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Namrong Bay Country Club. The um, Out with Nine Holes continuing our DLC tour. First time I've played this, I've just bought it. Um, a little bit over £5 if you're in the UK on PlayStation Store. So what's it like? How does it play? Uh, let's find out. Um, it's a coastal course is how it describes itself. So let's have a look. Again, it's very different from the other courses. Lots of water. Lots of water. Again, we're going to play with standard clubs, just so you get a feel for, for it. Oh, wow, there's water everywhere on this course. Okay, this could be quite interesting. So, par four, pretty straight. Let's give it a power shot and get it up the middle. Oh, missed the impact. Well, this will be, this will be interesting. Where does this end up? Is it going to get wet? Bare ground, okay, okay. Okay, we got away with that one. But again, tricky second shot. So, 140 to go. We're going to lose a little bit on the impact. So we need to get this up. And again, a little bit of headwind. In fact, I might need another club here. We're going to hold him in at least. Oh, just off the fairway. Don't go in the water. Can you play it out the water? Okay. You can play it out the water, but you've got to really hit it. Okay, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. So at best we get 50%. So we just need to knock the snot out of it. Ah, oh, missed the impact. It's out at least. So we left ourselves a nine-footer. Let's go. Let's go right edge, flat. Take the part. Wipe our ball off and walk away. Okay. This is going to be a difficult course. This is not Green Country Club. So we are playing with normal cups and weak wind, by the way, off the regular tees. So at least we're not making it overly hard for ourselves. He says. Oh, all the coins are on two today. We'll have a look at that later. So par three, quite a long par three. A little bit of headwind. So let's get this up and stop it. Got the ultra backspin. Although it's a three iron, so how much effect will it have? Ooh. Just want it to grip, really. Go on. Ah, oh, that'll do. That'll do. Leave ourselves a five footer. So a little bit of break. Right edge, a little bit firm, just slightly uphill. That should be a straightforward birdie putt. So our first birdie. Okay, all three. Par five. Wow. Okay. So this is a bit like Alpina 16 or 17. You've got that building in the way. Oh my days. Oh ho. All right, we're going to drive over the building. So. Try and get some ultra top spin. I oh, missed the spin. So it's just a standard shot. Wind should just knock it right a bit into the fairway. That's all right. That's a decent shot. There's a bit of water up there to catch you as well. Wow. So 220 to go. So a little bit of tailwind. Three wood. Oh, I've got to stop the three wood here. Okay. Okay, got the ultra backspin. That's good. So with a bit of like it'll pitch and grip rather than race Ooh. on. Slow it down, get it on the green. That's pretty good. I'll take that. I'll take that. And I'm improving the backspin on my three wood. So we get an eagle pup. Right. So it's breaking right. A little bit of downhill slope. So let's see if it'll just just swallow it up. Just drop, okay. drop for me. There you go. That just shows you the difference. You get your, your approach shot right. Leave yourself a nice putt. This is an easy game. Sadly, getting those approach shots is not straightforward. So another par four. Wow. Plenty of water here. Lots to think about. So. Now. Water skip time, everybody? I think it's water skip time. Let's go for it. Got a bit of top spin. Has it got enough juice to get over there? One. Yeah. Okay. So that is the water skip there. So I like that trick. It's a nice trick. 
Okay, just going to be mindful of this tree here and that big tree there. So there's a bit of wind. I might even put some shape on this. Just, just to be sure. Just to be sure. So we're going to go up and left. Down and right. Great shot! Just take that tree out of play. Got it on the green. It was a bit short and a bit left, but it's alright. Ten foot putt. Bit of break, so maybe half a cup. Maybe just outside the edge. Just outside the edge of the cup. Hit it firm. There we go. Four under. It's a powerful. Okay, so this one bends right as well. <laughs> There's a massive water skip there if you fancy it. I mean that that would be that would be an interesting water skip. I don't think you'd clear that fence actually. Uh, oh, that really just wants to look you in the eye, doesn't it? I mean, if you can get it on that concrete, you might be able to bounce it over. Uh, I mean the safe shots here, isn't it? In fact, even that's not a safe shot. There's a lot of... Okay. So what do we do? What do we do? Do we lay up? Do we play to about there, maybe? Gives us a longer second shot. I think that's the sensible shot, isn't it? So let's let's play up here and lay it up. Rather than trying to do anything stupid. Yeah, good shot! We'll save that. We'll save that for when we got the custom clubs out. We'll give it a good battering with the custom club. So yeah, just take that bumper out of play. 162 to go. Mm, got some trees to worry about. A little bit of wind to worry about. Let's play it there. We should be okay. Got the ultra spin on it. Masterful. Uh, avoided that tree. Grip. Good, good. Pitch and grip. Pitch and grip. There you go. Oh. Now, if that's not an object lesson in course management, I don't know what is. So we sacrifice the distance on our first shot to give ourselves the better second shot. And with that, we're able to put it within two foot and get the birdie. It's not all about the 360-yard drives, people. I mean, that's me saying this, by the way. It's a par five. A man who would willingly beat the snot out of it rather than play the sensible shot. Okay, so again, this one's got a lot of a lot of variation on it. So where's this going? Well, there's a couple of roots here, isn't there? So, if you add the length, you could play up to there. But, um... Now, see this. I think I'm going to play there. With a bit of luck, I can at least get it on the cart track or on the land. Okay, let's play for that. So, hit it. Masterful. With a bit of luck, it should land on the dry stuff. Just even on the fairway. That's all right. I'll take that. Stays up, I'm an happy man. Tidy, what's up? So at least it's 200 to go. Again, mostly over water. Three iron, so stopping it's going to be the challenge. A little bit of tail. I almost want to do that and pitch it past and bring it back. So that's what I'm going to do. So we're going to pitch past, get the ultra backspin on it. Oh, neat just be super safe. So we're going for the middle of the green, really. We're not worried about Ooh. where the pin is. We want to be in the middle of the green. There you go. And I'll accept the longer putt, but I mean, well, let's just keep going. But I'm safely on. I'm not in the water. I don't have any weird shots. And that, that's my punishment, isn't it? So that's going to... It's going to break left to start with, then come back to the right. So maybe there... But I can barely... Let's just under-hit it, because it's going to go where it's going to go. Even that was over-hit. Wow. Incredibly Chance tough putt. Birdie. Incredibly tough putt. But again, we've got the birdie putt, which is what we were really trying to get. Nice so again, all about minimising your risk there, really. Okay, so the last par three. Hole seven is a par three. It's 166. Bit of water. Pins it a little bit close to the front edge, so we're gonna pitch past it and come back if we can. It's a little bit uphill. Yeah, didn't quite get the spin on it I wanted. 
It should end up on the green. Ah, again, just hit that front edge. And, he, and that was trying to pitch past it as well. So this is going to make for a tricky second shot. We're on the fairway at least. So it's going to roll right when it lands. Flat lie. But it's going to need a bit of roll. So let's hit it past and roll it. And a bit like it'll flop. There you go. Yeah, roll past, but the line wasn't good. I know. Oh, be proud. Just relax. So, tricky putt back. Seven foot for the for the par. That's okay. That's even par. That was a hard par. But I made it hard for myself. Just didn't get on. You gotta get on. It's a par four. Okay, hole eight. Oh, this is, now this is a bit like Imperial Garden with those kind of split fairways. Do you play there? There's a, I suppose if, as you get longer, you can play up there. But we're going to play here. Again, I'm going to choke it a little bit. Try and stop it. I don't want it to roll out into the water. But that, the risk is there. I've got to be really precise and land in that little neck. That's quite a tough shot. Tidy, what's up? That's okay. It's 130 ish to go. A little bit of tailwind. Oh, another tricky pin. Now, I could attack the pin. I could go for the middle of the green, but I'll compromise a little bit. So, what I'm going to try and do is try and put a bit of backspin, put a little bit of side spin on it as well. Just, just there you go. Look at that. It's on. Great play. Twenty-five foot, but I'm on. Oh, That's the important buddy. part. So, breaks, loosens off, and then breaks again at the end. Breaking to the right. Oh, how much is it going to break though? Maybe about there. Let's have a look. Go on. Oh, that's not a bad read. Pace was good. Deep breath. But again. Got ourselves a par putt. An even par. All right. So this is this is definitely a tougher course than the other two DLCs. This is kind of Imperial Garden-ish. Oh my! It's a par four. Wow, a bit of altitude here. So again, potential water skip to that bit there, or the safe shot to there. Well, we've we've of course managed our way into one. We've got the altitude. So let's try. Let's try the um. Let's try the skip here. Yeah! Bravo! Got hold of it. Where's that gonna go? Oh, what well, have got there on its own? Ah! Too good a shot. It's gonna go out at the other side. Wow. So there's your penalty right there. Yeah. Now, Parfy wants to try that again. Oh, I'm gonna try that again. I don't care. See if we can do it better this time. Yeah! Masterful! Where is that gonna land? Water skip, yeah, the water skip's definitely the better Lucky option. Bones. That's better. First one was far too far left. So we're in a bit of trouble here. This is our third fourth shot. Right key. So this for a par. As we lost the shot and the distance. Okay, we're just going to grip it and rip it. Ah, oh, this could go anywhere. Water. Yeah. In my defence, first time I've played this, I need to learn the lessons the hard way, don't I? Okay. Need to turn the approach off it because we're going to lose too much in the from the ground. Didn't get to drop into something nice. Dropped onto bare ground. Can't see where that is. Well, that's not bad. Well, that would have been nice to have seen that. So. Oh, triple bogey. That's what happens when you put it in the water twice. So we finish on three under. Uh, but that's the first time I've played it. Uh, that's a good course. That That's a bit of a challenge, that course. Um, I think I'll have to play that a few more times and... And get a feel, get a feel. But I've still got the inward nine to play.
But um, it's got a bit of variety, got a bit of altitude, got a bit of plenty of water, and lots of choices. You know, it's not straightforward where you where you're gonna put your tee shot every time. Which I think's a good thing, of course. And again, it looks like it'll play differently as you as your skill progresses. Well, if you enjoyed that, um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and we'll play the second nine holes of this as part Heidi, of this series. And I'll see you next time for a little bit more Everybody's Golf. 